It's nice to see you. It's a little, it's a little cold out here, but it's not that bad, right? Yeah, it's a little chilly. It's cold out. It's all right. You're yeah. in album mode right now. Congratulations. Right on, right on. Appreciate it. This is exciting. I feel like you're seeing all the love that everybody's been showing you, at least on social media. They're talking about your album, Love for Rent. Uh, there's a good amount of energy. People feel like this should be album of the year. Hey. No pressure. Yeah, ain't no pressure on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they give me what they want to give me. You know what I mean? How do you feel about that when you hear it? I mean, it feel good. Like, but I also don't. I don't know. I make music for myself, bro. I make music because I like making music. Like, if if I wasn't never even famous, I could say. Her. You do anything you I want. Bet. If I want like, if I want popping, I still be making music. Like I like making music, so it's not like I do it for a response or some. Shit. And I think that's why people like. It. Oh, that's interesting. I like that though, because then I feel like you don't let the outside noise creep in too much, right? Because then it's like, why are you doing music? You know what I mean? Like, what's the motivation? Is it for the accolades, or is it because you just love it and you're doing it, and it just so happens to be really good? Yeah. Thanks. If it's for the accolades, you know what I'm saying? Like, most people that do it for the accolades get the accolades and their music get bad. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I always got a lot of love. Like, we always sold out our shows. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's cool. You know what I mean? It's all cool. We yeah. doing straight. Yeah. It's a hard question, but what's your favorite song on the album? Um, Curtains. Mm, why? The message, I, I think it was, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if, if Amiri redid the American flag, she still wouldn't swag. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Just talking about, talking real shit about how I feel about, you know what I'm saying? Um, us just as a whole, just how shit be for us. But like really, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a love album. So I ain't want all the love to be like head ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I want my girl back, love, but it's about like really like using your heart in different ways. That, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's my favorite because I feel like I was just showing my love to like something that was beyond me. Mm. I mean, tell me about the title, "Love for Rent." What does that mean? Is your love for rent? I mean, I feel like everybody's is sometimes. It's like I was I was just telling my homie. I was just like, man, uh, I kind of got past the idea of people being like supposed to be permanent in your life. Like I don't hold on mm. to people like that. You supposed to always be here, or you supposed to always be how you was last year or four years ago. It's like you know what I'm saying. This person might change, and right. it might not be my thing. So it ain't like my love gonna be gone. It's gonna be back for rent by the time that you know what I'm saying cycle through. But hopefully, you know some stuff be permanent. Like it do be some like long lasting. But you know, I guess it was just me accepting the fact that everything ain't permanent. When did you finally realize that? Was that something that happened in your life and you're just like, okay? I mean, I always been in like a long relationship usually and I had just got single. So I was just like, you feel me? Exploring, <laughs> exploring my vibes, exploring my options. And, and the options was lit, you feel me? So oh, I just was no, like, <laughs> no, no. It was just lit. So it was just like, for real. Yeah, that's what it is, love for rent. And like, I don't got love for people who I'm scared to like love people who are scared to love anything. It's just like, it is what it is at the moment. And I'm just vibing, you know. Are your options still open now? Or are you focused on music? How is this looking for you? Are you just... In I'm locked in right now. I ain't, I'm, I'm just locked in with myself, though. You mm. feel me? I'm super locked in with myself right now. I ain't like looking for nothing. I'm just rocking. You feel me? Just enjoying. enjoying. But are you checking the DMs? Are you doing any? <laughs> I, I stay out the DMs. I try my best to stay out my DMs. Because I just dropped the album, so it's like they kind of get like unhealthy, bro, to look at too many people. Like it ain't never, never my business how people feel about me, bro. So I be trying to like never like get caught up on that DM yeah. thing. So I might check my DMs just looking for some sh shorties and hear somebody be like, yo, shit, wacky sh And I'm like, damn, I was looking for the Like, I mean, not the I'm sorry. The gills. But you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for the gills. You know what I'm saying? I'm through my whole shit off. You feel me? Because you, it'd be all love, but you'll see the bad shit. Like, damn. Like, why this guy hate me? It's around 50 things. That, Do you I mean, invest into the comment, though? Like, the negativity? For example, if someone says, oh, I didn't like this song. Do you? Hell yeah, I'm a human, bro. Like, that oh. shit make anybody feel sure. like, damn. Like, I see somebody say some wild shit. I'm like, damn. Like, it's always like the nigga that be like, Man, I wanted to get into Shmino, but I don't like that. That's funny as hell. But at the same time, I don't like let it. It don't slow me up. It don't make me feel no different kind of way. But I'm a human for sure. I yeah. see. You know what I'm saying? What I said, familiar with love, but I ain't immune to hate. I forgot what I said that on defibrillator. Feel me? I ain't immune to hate at all. Yeah. I love that you're honest about that. 
Straight up. Do you think, though, it'll get easier over time where seeing feedback like that, that you're kind of like, eh, whatever, on to the next? Or do you think you'll always kind of, Over know. time, the plan is to just delete, like, delete <laughs> my Instagram password. Right. And, like, need to post from, like, over time, but... uh I like to stay connected to the people, but I want to start like curating real live experiences. Like if I want to, if I want to mm -hmm. like interact with people, I want it to be for real, like in person and stuff. I'm tired of the internet, honestly. It's, I'm with it's you. fun to look at. It's sure. informative. But I don't like communicating it's through it. It's hella convenient. But I don't like communicating it uh, through it all the time and like having to express myself through the internet all the time. You feel me? Yeah. Straight up. What was the hardest song to put together on the album? The intro, no else. Why? The subject matter was real personal on the first verse, so I was just like, I want to stay personal. I want to stay talking mm -hmm. about real. And uh, it took me probably like three months to finish it. Like, wow. Yeah. I feel like, okay, so is this like perfectionist talk right now where you're just listening to and you're like, okay, let me change that. No. I was tweaking. Yeah, I was put, like, like what they said, perfectionism is like the highest form of procrastination. And so it's like, you Ooh, know I what I'm like saying? I like that saying. Yeah, so I just was like, bro, I was just tweaking and low-key, like, and being perfect, I was kind of like procrastinating my like ascension back into the world, gang. Like I ain't want to like be, I don't know. I feel like I just wanted to be right when I came back out because I ain't dropped in like four years and shit like that. Oh no, you're a perfectionist. It's okay though. Nah, I'm not for real. It just I had gotten like that because it was like I had so much time to think. I had too much time to think. I'm low key that's gonna do this shit at the last minute and <laughs> put it out. Like that's that's my strongest suit. I'm fourth quarter shouty, but I don't like. You know, when I got too much time, I'm just oh, like, yeah, overdo no. it. Like, if I'm at home and I'm waiting to go somewhere and it take, like, somebody two hours, I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to end up being like, I don't want to wear this anymore. Right. Because like, right. you're thinking about it too much. You're in your head. I just be, yeah, I just, my mood be changing and shit. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. And as a creative, I feel like creatives can change your mind. They can do whatever they want. That's the beauty in what you do, the art that you create, you know, the body of work. You could go back and be like, you know what? I don't I don't like that. I saw that you had mentioned when you put the project together and you're like, oh, th I feel like something's missing. Yeah. You know, and here you are calling Cole up uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and getting the song 90 Proof, which I want to talk about. That was a really cool story, though. And the reason being, I love that you shared it and you said that all you did was call him and say that you wanted the song back, and he was with it. Yeah, I mean, it was that simple. Man, me and Cole got like four songs to get out, really, because I went and did that Dreamers thing, uh, mm -hmm. the Revenge of the Dreamers. So it's like, bro, really, he really like at this point the homie. And shit. But, uh, yeah, it was just, it was nothing to him. It's also J Cole, bro. He got a lot of songs. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, let me give him a song, little homie, right quick. Yeah, yeah cool. but but I, I love that because sometimes, you know, fans and people on the outside who, are, you know, may not know the ins and outs of how an album was put together. It was my song, I made it, and he heard it, and he's like, hey, I want to rap on it. And he rapped on it, and he's like, I want to put it on my album. Then I was just like, after a while, I just asked for it back. That's how I, it was like, already mine, though. I started it. Made it because of a crazy situation, and he just liked it, you know. Would you say other artists are that, I don't, don't want to say that nice, but very understanding where they're just like, oh, yeah, no, here it is back, even though they might have already had it in their mind that they're going to keep it for themselves. Like, how does that work in the artist world? I don't know. I've never been in a situation <laughs> like this before. Like, this is my first, I ain't gonna, I'll be making some I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't really, I've never given someone one of my songs before. I ain't, I'm, I've never been a songwriter. That's something I'm into. Like, now I'm like, I'm hella down to write for people. I'm hella down to like, you know what I'm saying, do my thing because I feel like I'm a, I've established my sound. But like, I feel, uh, I don't think that happens. It probably don't happen too much. Right. How would you feel if you were in that situation and somebody said, hey, can I have the song back? I feel like you'd be okay with yeah, it. Yeah, right? I mean, it's coming out. It's like, I'm still on it and it's coming out. It's yeah. fire. And it's even cool. Like, I feel like, like if a, a super upcoming artist from St. Louis or something like that, like, right. I feel like, I love to do that, like for them. Like that's hard. Like, I yeah, love let's go that. crazy. Where was the video shot? I went to uh I went to Raleigh. I went out to Burn Neck of the Woods, you feel me? Mainly cause I live in LA right now and it's hard to make LA not look like LA. Yeah. On camera. And it's I love I love LA. You know what I mean? But it look like LA when you try to go outside. Unless you go like in up Cali sure. somewhere. Sure. Right. But um yeah, we wanted to take it over to some of our country, uh to the to the to the country, you know what I'm saying? And plus, you know, it was easier for Cole to get away from his kids and come do the video right quick. 
Yeah. Everybody thought that was his son in the video. That's not his son. Oh. I should have just let everybody keep thinking it would, but I, I ain't part of his son, man. His son ain't been in the video yet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't his son, man. But little dude, shout out to little bro, bro. He just pulled up with a bunch of energy and jumped on Cole, so Cole oh. went with it and picked him up. Shit like that. That's so sweet. Yeah. That was a beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Pro Freak. The yeah. song. It yeah. feels like everybody really likes that. Yeah. Don't cheat on it. Of course, I mean, amazing, right? She crazy. What did you think when you first heard the verse? I loved it. I'm like, yeah, because yeah, she she um she sent me two versions. She rapped it low and she rapped it like with some energy like that one. No, she rapped it like that and then she rapped it harder on the other one. She said, I'm like, I like this laid back, cool, don't you? This kind of crazy, right? Plus, you saying a lot of words. So, like, if you say cool, I felt like, I don't know, it felt good when I heard the cool one. And um, when she sent it back, I'm like, this amazing bro like literally i don't know i ain't know what else to say i was like literally i didn't think she was gonna uh send it back because i sent it to her like probably a month before that you know what i mean uh something like that maybe a few weeks something like that but um i had did the song i ain't even like the song i thought it was corny when I first made my friends had to tell me i'm tripping i'm like literally like bro i'm like girls with the good grease girls with the goatee i'm like man it's... that's me on the like saying that part and so i'm like i like damn but then, um, yeah, all the homies was in the crib, like, bro, this shit hard as hell. <laughs> but it had this, like, Japanese sample on it, and they weren't clear. And we ended up having to get it, like, we, we Monty kind of remade the beat and shit. And, um, yeah, it was crazy, bro. I was, I was amazed by her. I felt like, I felt like, uh, Kanye on Monster. Oh. With Nicki. Wow, okay. Yeah. That, okay. Oh God, I was like, damn, this this like one of them. Cause I'm a rapper, rapper, you know what I'm saying? So like when everybody been writing me like, hey, don't you body join it. But this is the thing about songs, I'm just like, bro, when a song good, if she had a raw, a crazy verse, like mind you, her verse runs on past her like 30, I don't know how long her verse is. It's hella long, it keep going into the hook. Right. And I just let it end the song. Cause I'm like, bro, it's so hard. We just finna let that rock. Cause this and hard. Like this right. song, like moment, like she on some something in here, like. <laughs> I was really, I felt that when, I'm like, I know that, I felt that feeling, like, and she wasn't just doing no Dr. Seuss shit, bro, she said, face incredible, waste on Mrs. Incredible, you know what I'm yeah. saying, she's saying all this shit, Angelita, yeah. like, Jolie, I'm, um, right, cool, I'm a fan for sure. But I love that you understood it, you took a step back, mm -hmm. did you think about, maybe I should change my verse, should I do Hell no, I ain't no, man, I ain't finna, look, bro, I ain't, I know about me, like, you know what I'm saying, so I ain't, finna, I don't feel like I'm the rapper. Uh, whatever they gotta like out rap people i'd rather make good music if i i vibe the whole song i set the song up and she knocked it apart and it's like that's that what a teacher is supposed to do yeah if exactly. i'm on another nigga song i've never not did that same thing so it's like it made sense right i ain't want to call nobody that one finna smash that you feel me right 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 i want to talk about the rollout for the album it was really creative the open house theme yeah. did you come up with that mm -hmm. i like it thanks Appreciate it. Yeah, I be, I be uh, conceptualizing. I was conceptualizing this shit for a while. Like, that's my favorite thing about music. Mm. It's like presenting it. Um, like I was telling you, like, beyond Spotify and Apple and having to go, like, put stuff sure. on, like, streaming platforms. Like, it's cool to stream it because it's like I could just bump it. But, you know what I'm saying? For people to actually be able to experience it and take something home and, like, all yeah. that yeah, like human fun. interaction, like actually looking in someone's eyes, really yeah. feel their vibe, feel their energy. I mean, that's that's completely different. Yeah, a lot of suck at talking in person. Like, <laughs> you'll be surprised. Like you talk oh, no. to a person, like you dry as hell. Like I know. Yeah, trust me. For real, a lot of people suck at talking. I'd be like, bro, I can't even talk to you. For real, like, I was just, I'm just follow you on Twitter, cause you cool on Twitter, straight up. <laughs> Speaking of Twitter, I saw that you posted something, and I, I personally liked it because I think it's important to hold on to this. You said, "Don't quit your daydream." I read that on. I was at this Haitian restaurant, and I seen it on the wall. I'm gonna clean. I just like what it said, though. Real Absolutely. talk. Absolutely. In high school, like I throw little shows and shit, shoe stores and shit, sell my. We made our own tickets and sold them. And shit. Like we do it like that. Like I, I always been trying to campaign. Shit. Cause I was into like, hmm. I used to love collectives like Dipset and shit like that. So I always wow. wanted me and my friends to have it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got this Zero Fatigue thing. That's the name of me and my collective, Zero Fatigue. And it's like, all right, you feel me? Well, I love that. I don't know, maybe because I feel the same way. All my friends I try to put on. Yeah. I feel like no matter what the job is, my friends can learn it and be better and we're gonna do it. 
Yeah, it's it's that's that's good for you. That means you like to keep your energy straight. Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Around you, cause it's like man, something can be hella enjoyable, and one can just really blow it up, like <sighs> just cause their energy off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I also feel like you know, empowering the homies just make the whole look go up. That's like some, you feel me, old mob mob mentality. You feel? Me? The win isn't as fun if we collectively can't win. Yeah, no, nah, I tell them I'm lit to get lit with your friends after y'all do something. Like, right. We, I just did uh, Fallon the other night, and I was with all my, like, a bunch of my 10-year homies. Like, you feel me? And it's crazy because I'm seeing them all posted now, like, oh. and, like, be proud of it. And it's so tight because it's like, damn, this my job. So I, it's cool I can share that moment that they have with them as opposed to, like, a new random person playing right. for me. You feel me? I couldn't, like, really feel them. Because they just don't know what you've been through. They don't remember those moments when you wanted this so bad and, you know, all the success. Did your friends know this was going to happen for you? Were they kind of like, yeah. we knew this was going to happen for Smino? I had one uh, best rapper and most likely to be famous in high school. So I feel like people always kind of just seen it, seen it on me and shit. Right. You feel me? So... That's got to feel great. How does your family feel about all the success? It's weird with family. I feel like either family cares or they don't care. They're just like, oh, okay, it's just another day. How's your family been it's with It's like you? a 50-50 thing. <laughs> like, I ain't going to lie. It's a 50-50 thing. Like, I feel like when people, because my sister's like, I'm, we from, I'm so from St. Louis. Like, people know, like, my family. People know, oh, that's your brother. Like, you feel me when they see my sisters sometimes. So, you know what I mean? I feel like them interactions be like, oh, yeah, my little brother lit, you feel me? <laughs> or shit like that. Or like my mama be seeing like some of her patients that's fans of me and be like, oh, I listen Wait, to Wait, what does she do? You said patients? Or yeah, she's a, uh, she's like a nurse. And wow. And she, yeah, she, she, yeah, she's a nurse. Oh, and wait, so do her patients know and like, does she talk about you? No, she her? don't even talk about me. She try to avoid that whole <laughs> thing, but it just be like somebody would just be talking about me or something like that because it's St. Louis. It's just... Yeah, it's my son. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's cool though. I love it. Has she taught you about, you know, I don't know, mom things like, hey, son, be careful on the road, on tour. And... Man, every time I talk to her, that's what she be saying. I'm like, mama, I don't, me, I'm going to be careful. You know I'm going to be careful. But, you know, she loves you. So she just said it to me yesterday. You know what I mean? She's like, you on TV, so be careful. People know your face and all this. And I'm like, all right. But she's right though. Yeah, no. Nah, I'll be out the way. I don't, man, I'll be ducked off. Yeah, just. I'll be back. Yeah, I lay back. How was it working with Doja Cat I Won't Bite? Oh, that was fire. Uh, I mean, Doja cool, bro. Like, Doja real cool. What's crazy, before Doja, like, exploded like she did, like, you feel me? Um, we always had, like, admiration for each other's music. And right. But um, she's cool, bro. Libra gang, shit, Libra twin, shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she real cool. We got another song. I'm trying to put that bitch out. I need her to go out here and tell them folks. Right. Just get get the clearance. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. I loved that she was just showing you so much love and, you know, just talking about, I don't know, maybe I'm such a fan of artists working together, yeah. right? And seeing artists show love to one another, right? Because it's another thing when there are songs out there that, you know, you could tell have been put together by managers and labels and stuff, but you can really tell when it's like a mutual love between artists and they create something. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. She told me she only f with me and Nicki Minaj, bro. <laughs> I was like, for real? She like, man, that's all. I'm like, that's hard, bro. That's <laughs> I love hard. this right now. Yeah. You feel like you're getting a lot of love from just, you know, other peers in the industry? Yeah, I feel like artists like me a lot, bro. Like artists, they show a lot of love. It be the street rappers, it be the, it's gospel artists, street rappers, all type of different artists, visual artists, it's like a lot of love. Like, I got the most talented fans in the world, though, bro. Like, wow. the shit they be making and sending me and the shit they pull up to the show with. So I feel like my art inspires people to make things. And that's probably my favorite thing about it. What's the one thing that you saw a fan bring that you're just like, wow, I can't believe they put this together. This is amazing. In person or... It could be both. I want to So the reason it. I just said that was because yesterday was a four-year anniversary. I put out my last album called New War, and I forgot. One of my fans made this crazy like 3D illustration. That's so hard. I'm gonna send it to you. Yes, so it's so hard. But um matter of fact I'm gonna post that shit. That's just so hard. But um I was like damn I ain't even realize what today was. I've been running around doing so much shit. And I'm like damn it's like down to my birthday. I'm tripping you feel me? One of my kids birthday at least. And um yeah that's my mind. He made like a whole little 30 second cartoon show about my
wow like cartoon like yeah like an animation thing no it was crazy i was like damn this went crazy you know what when i see talent like that i'm always just like i wish i had talent like that do you ever look at somebody and you're just like that's so beautiful to me mine be like when be like dunking and like or when yeah, I, I it, like yeah, art be cool like i feel like i can try to like learn some art shit, but like i be with like crazy this is ridiculous like physical right right no <laughs> like i get it to jump over a wall or something you like that's crazy you feel it, me? Hard. you know what i feel like gymnastics is hard when you see yeah. people doing the flips and the tumbling i'm like god yeah how? i ain't no flipper i used to flip i used to know how to flip i had landed on my head one time it was like that. yeah nah nah, nah cool. we're good we're good we're gonna have to pass <laughs> on this that's not what we're gonna do yeah i got a little dent it's cool. oh no it was that bad it was cool i'm cool <laughs> You can't see it because of her. <laughs> it's all right, though. Yes. It's all right, though. We skirt. You're getting ready for a tour with mm -hmm. J.I.D. That's going to be fun. My brother. Yeah. I feel like you work with a lot of Dreamville artists, right? There feels like there's like a synergy. It yeah. feels like that, right? Yeah, I love Dreamville. They're cool yeah. people. I love everybody, man. It's I love about this, bro. I don't got no... It's, it's like a lot of... It's a. I think it's a... A lot of mutual respect because everybody understand that like we like the resurgence of what's to come next because all the OG artists have been out for so long, bro. Mm -hmm. Like longer than ten years and they just OG. They it's not that it, it's not as exciting when they drop for us. It's like it's raw. We want it. Like of course we, we need it, but it's like not as exciting as like a new artist that you like right. excited about. You feel me? Like straight up. But um, I think that you know all of that mutual respect is just making a world of its own. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Everyone wins like that, right? Yeah. When there's yeah. love and respect and, you know, everybody can collectively win. How does tour work? Is it just like one big party? Because, like, I guess for me, listen, I'm not an artist. We don't really know what happens. But it feels like when artists that really work well together go on tour, it has to just be one big party. Or does it feel like work at the same time? Tour is the most lit for the that's not headlining. Like, like. All my friends had way more fun on tour than me. Except like, like I say, like the band, maybe they be a little bit like locked in, but they actually be lit. Too. Nah, them be yeah, them be lit. I think like tour is the hardest on whoever's on the bill. Like you know, the I mean? headliner. Cause it's like I can't like I was singing and like I give a lot of energy, so right. I can't talk the next day until about five. Yeah, cause your voice. You Right. Yeah, so a lot of times I gotta just chill. I can't get lit. I can't go drink as much as y'all or smoke as much as I want to or put the front on a blunt. I can't throw the grab in that I gotta, you know. Right. You gotta you gotta, you gotta like, relax your vocals, you gotta regain that strength, that energy to go back out. Yeah, you just gotta make sure that you ain't out here tweaking and getting sick, catching colds and like yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. I'm <laughs> so glad you said that. Like it's yeah. like gotta stay away. No, nah, on this tour. I'm finna have a nutritionist, and I'ma make everybody, I'ma put the little pill things Monday through su uh, Sunday, and I'ma put their pills in there, and their vitamins, and their ginger shots, and we gonna know. It's gonna be on the thing. We gonna know who ain't taking that <laughs> sh Like, you ain't boosting your immune, my boy. Get back on the bush. Right, because we can't afford to get yeah. sick right now. No, uh. listen, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the pandemic and everything. If someone just goes, <clears throat> clears her throat, I'm like, wait, what's going on? I'm scared. Yeah. Sweetie, I'm scared. Boy, this girl coughed around me yesterday, boy. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, Cap, I'm cool. I was just like, man, that was a deep cough. That came from down here. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Oh, I'm not feeling that. Yeah. Are you getting ready for your next Christmas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be your fifth annual one, right? My fifth, fifth Christmas, yeah. yeah. I like that you informed. Thank That's what's you. up. Yeah, we no, do that I for the kiddies, man. We do it for the kiddies in the city. But it's, uh, I've been doing it every year. It's a concert, but I'm working on making it into more of a year-round experience. Yeah. I want to, like, have my own art school in St. Louis in the future, and I'm working on it. That's something I'm working on, but I want to call it the Christmas Academy. I love this. Yeah, thanks. And it's going to be, like, you know, basically we lost a lot of uh, accreditation for, like, arts in school. Like, they took, they basically took art out of a lot of, like, no. public schools. Yeah, so I wanted to just have, like, a center that a bunch of, like, talented kids can go meet each other, like, so they can just know Create. each other. Yeah, yeah, and, like, this class work with this class, works with this class, work with this class, which is really how to go. Like, we wouldn't be able to do this without the video people. I wouldn't be able to do this without you, and you wouldn't be able to do this without us artists. And so it's like showing them what that's like, you feel me? Yeah. 
and like uh and all that you know i want them to kind of open up the show that we the concert we have every year in december like so that's it's something we're working on you know i love that i want to talk a little bit more about that because listen the music's great tour all the success but i love that aspect because it's needed and it's something that i feel like should be celebrated right and yeah. i feel like you're you're humble right you're not gonna really talk too much about it unless I'll be it's popping. A... i'm chill though right i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm with the humility i, I know yeah, but i is. think it's beautiful that you do that and i think it's important that for myself to see that it's inspirational right yeah. Because you could be using your time to get more money, to go do this, to go on more tours or whatever, but you take that time. Why is that important to you? I just always feel like, who else going to do it? I don't ever think, like, oh, somebody else going to do that. Like, I had the idea. I feel like God gave me the idea, so I might as well see what's up. Like, at least try, you know what I mean? Right. But it's important, I feel like, to just create opportunities for, like, people that's from where you, literally from where you from, because... They not gonna believe. It's harder to believe somebody that ain't been down the same street as you. Literally, like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you don't know what's going on here. So, like, I can't even feel you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, to get back to just exactly where we from, like, they really feel us more than like another. You know what I'm saying? Sure, you're their hometown hero, right? So they feel way about seeing you win because it's like it's proximity. I think that's when you see love come out, right? You're like, I'm happy to see somebody win yeah. from where I'm from. That means we all literally can win. It's a beautiful feeling. How did you come up with the name? Like, what what's behind Christmas. the name? Yeah, because I'm at the crib for Christmas. Right. But it was it was like you know it was such a give back to the crib thing. So it's just like Christmas. I don't know. I be just coming up with names quick. That's my thing. Like I like to name. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things in the world is naming. You're I'm gonna try to open up an agency where I just name. I like it. All these agencies opening up. I like it. The, the art school, the art center, everything. Um, yeah, I'm enterprising. Look, I'm obviously not as creative as you because I can't make music, right? But I don't mean you have, creative. Eh, eh, I know my strengths and weaknesses, <laughs> but that's why I enjoy the conversations and to learn that you have different ways to express your creativity, be it yeah. names, you know, be it conceptualizing the rollout for the album. You right. know what I mean? Is it just you sitting down or could you come up with this idea when you're walking? Like, how do you move on an idea? Do you talk to somebody? Do you bounce ideas? You I instantly tell somebody. I okay. probably call the right away. And just like, that's my, that's my dog. That's my, like, she's my manager, but it's really like my, my best friend, guy. She right there. So I call, yeah, I call her and be like, hey, bro, I'm tripping. Am I tripping? She'll be like, nah, nah. And she'll write it down. Like, you know. I love that. Yeah, I be, cause they, like, my people that I work with, they just know I just be always just bouncing off the wall and thinking of shit. Cause, I don't know, I be smoke a bunch of weed <laughs> and I got a lot more free time than the average person. You know what I'm saying? Because I do art. So. I just be having to get that shit out my head. I, I just learned to start writing it down recently, though. I've been writing it down because when I write it down, it's like I can't add to it. I know it sounds simple, but... No, no, no. It's important. Do you feel like you're more efficient when you write things down? Do you feel like you get more things done? Uh, I feel like it just kind of make my flow more linear, like, opposed mm. to just, like, being from here to here. here sure. Yeah, it make my just more linear. Like, I can see it all and see my way through it versus just, like, how I'm going to do it. Just trying to remember it. Mm -hmm. And just, yeah, yeah, yeah. People been saying that to me for the longest, but I'm like, man, I'm cool. I got this <laughs> brain on me. It's all here. It. Yeah, nah. And now? I'm writing it down. You're boy. writing it down. Head down, head down. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> where do you see yourself in five years? Where I see myself yeah, in five years? like where do you hope to see yourself? Somewhere with, with some clones, my kids. <laughs> mm. Somewhere with some little clones. Uh, I don't know. I just I just see myself, you know, uh, continuing to do this for now, you know, and, and, and I want to live outside of America. And um, what else I want to do? Because this is an important question. Now yeah, I no, I, where do you want to live? Have you thought about where you want to live outside the country? London or Ghana. Mm. I've never been to Ghana, though. But I think I want to live. There. It's amazing. I've been to Ghana. It's amazing. I bet everybody that go to Ghana. It's amazing. Like, I'm going to move. I'm going to move there. No, I'm just playing. But um, Ghana cool and London cool. I think I do those two because I feel like with those two, I can end up in some places. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Where are some places you want to travel to that you haven't yet? Where you're like, man, I hope we can go do a show there or something that you're just like, or I want to learn more about this spot. 
Uh, I'd probably say. I just told the homies I want to go to Egypt. I want to go see them pyramids because I just learned a lot of like about how they. First of all, it confuses me. I'm not gonna start talking about it right now because that's gonna it's wild. But, but we'll digress into a whole different. Yeah, that's day. some whole other shit. But I want to go see that, and I want to probably go to. Uh, I want to go to Italy. I never been to Italy. Super simple, right? Yeah. Should be simple, right? Yeah. Because I've been to London and I never went to Italy. Okay, the I was proximity. Like, I should go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time you're out that way, definitely just stop over. That's where the boat. I want to get on them. The river Venice. Boats. You want to go to Venice? Yeah. Right, yeah I want to get you on the river boats. I heard that in Venice, that it's become so congested in general that it's like you have to book way in advance to go there because it's so congested with so many people going to visit. Oh, for real. I mean, that's the last time I heard. I don't know if it's changed, but yeah. They be having traffic on the river. That's a good question. I don't I know. Stuck in a, right? Like, what do you do at this point? Hey. Are we all just gonna be stuck on the water? I'm hop out right here, bro. Like, nah, <laughs> nah. Is there someone that you ran into that you were surprised that they were such a fan of your music, and you're like, I, I didn't, I didn't expect that. Hmm. One, the Brett. Like <sighs> random, the Brett. You know, you know the Brett, right? Of course. So, so shout out to Brett, and um. I love that you said the brat though. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Twin, we got the bees. And I love the brat, yeah. The brat, and then probably like uh Um, you ever watch Entourage? Yes, but you'd have to remind me on which character. Vinny Chase, Adrian Greenier, he pulled up to one of my shows before, and I was just like, that's random as hell. Bro from Entourage. That is yeah, that was random. I say those two people because this is random. Oh, this random, but I love that. Yeah. Who's somebody that you really want to work with, and you want to manifest this energy? Because I feel like with your luck, you can make anything happen. Fantasia. Okay, let's manifest it. Where the f is Fantasia? I want to find Fantasia. If anybody here know where Fantasia, please. She probably got my favorite voice ever, bro. Ah, oh, oh, I me. mean, she's a beautiful voice. Man, bro, what? I feel like that can happen. If you Manifest don't want me, the next then time. don't talk to me. <laughs> I'll play with me, bro. Oh, I had such a great time today, and I really appreciate you making the time to come and have this conversation with me. I love your body of work. Thanks. I'm really happy for you and this energy and your creativity and everything that you do for your hometown, for the kids. I, I just, I love it. I'm a fan of it. And the next time, I'm sure you're going to get the song with Fantasia. Mm. You got to come back. I'm and we got to talk about it. I'm gonna come back with Fantasia. Listen, we're gonna manifest this yeah. energy, all right? And <laughs> oh, you know, thank you for making the time because you don't have to be here today. So I appreciate it. Appreciate of you. Of course, too, absolutely. Oh, me.